tons of damage. Yeah. Going onto Battlefield FD. Interesting stage. I just love the way that uh, the stage looks in this game. Very beautiful. Yeah. That's very right. light. You see everything very clearly. Interesting Nikita there. It's also a thing. Snake can like break out of a lot of conversions. Uh, he can like break out of a lot of conversions with uh, his grenades. Yeah. So Plus that frame one. It's yeah, yeah. It's super a frame ridiculous. one. Frame one uh, pull. Yeah, getting kind of juggled here. Kunai playing very, very confident against the snake. I mean, he was re really good at against Longus snake, so he kind of has some, you know, set experience. Yeah, that's right. But you know, Longo playing, oh, taking his own grenades to make it back onto stage. Very smart. No, it was the, bo the, the bomb. Oh, it was the bomb? Yeah. Huh. Kunai throws it upwards. But, but still, he got he the tag. Oh, he dies of that weak bear. Got, yeah. Bear. Wow. A jump catch. Mm -hmm. Had no jump there. Really good awareness of Draco for going f to f to go for that, you know. Yeah. Even though it was kind of risky, if he got yeah. hit by that up B, he would have probably died because he couldn't have tagged that at that high of a percent. That doesn't kill yet. This is not Smash 4. In Smash 4, he could have, like, you know, killed everyone at that percent. That's right. Not having too much invincibility. Getting up right through that F tilt. Kuna just stands there, mm -hmm. waiting, 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 and then pu pushed his uh, F tilt button. Yeah. Because F tilt is just like such a good tool on yeah. tooling in this game. Hits under, the hits under the ledge, two frames, has a lot of base knockback, and kills very early. Nice F tilt to get him off, off of him. Has to go for the up air. Draco needs to get in. Oh no, Kunai needs to get in because Draco has the lead right now. Is he sticky? No, it's laying on the ground. But as I say, that one conversion of these projectiles and suddenly the percent are even again. Or yeah, like down here. super fast in this matchup uh -huh. that you wake up the damage. Yeah, there's so Once many you projectiles. An advantage, you have uh, like mm. ridiculous damage output from rough characters. Yeah, exactly. He catches. Catches the bomb, throws it back. I really like this projector game we're seeing right here. Is he going for a back throw? Nikita, can he hit him? No. Oh wow, going through he with the up B. Yes, and the up are gonna take it. Mm -hmm. Kind of evening out, evening out the stocks. But Kuna is still having a slight lead. Oh, and I'm not being ball. able to go, to go through the Nikita once again. All these projectiles. Whoa. Nice option to use that C4 once he dropped his shield. Very many projectiles on the screen. Yeah, like it's all yeah. covered in explosions and yeah. they hide in the explosions. This is directed by Michael Bay right now. <laughs> <laughs> For real though. Yeah. Look at this. Is he going for an up smash on the ledge? No, Draco does not really do that after the, the nerfs they uh, gave to his up smash. He mo oh wow, I think his boomerang saved him there. Mm, kinda I like don't think that he would have died from this. Made him, yeah, but it, it looked like it he slowed him down a lot, you know? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Is he gonna drop a C4 here? No, just gonna reset to the ledge. Nice and easy. Nice punish there. Kunai playing very safe. Oh my god, Draco at a lot of percent. Oh my god, he dropped. He did not. <gasps> what are those rolls? What is this? Like an empty hop into air dodge? This is very intense right now. Draco being at 170%. One upsult can probably take this right now. Kunai needs Should to be, be very, very careful. Oh my god. One grab and he's dead. When I trying to wall out, ah, and he catched the jump. Nice, nice catch by Kunai with that side beam to up air. Draco trying to double jump out of it, but it wasn't not enough. I mean, it's probably one of the better options to just jump out of it because yeah. once you air dodge, you're forced into that animation, and if you're like forced into an air dodge animation, you can like get, you know, 
punished for it really hard. That's right. Expe especially on those percent. Didn't want to risk it. Go for a jump. Didn't quite work out. But you know, still got some games that he could adapt to. Both of the players sticking to their guns. Yes. against Snake. Very projectile based gameplay right here. I'm going to town and city. Very, very wide stage. A lot of these play like both of these players have a lot of range. Just play play around with the projectiles here. Throw out some nades, you know. Throw out some C4. Very patient gameplay. Yeah, they're both waiting for the opportunities to get in. As long as that that doesn't show off, they just stand there and spam their projectiles. Yeah. I mean, it kind of works, you know. Yeah. Doesn't get the punish, but nice pressure around that spot dodge with all those grenades and the explosions by Draco. Yeah. Like, was C4 as a set drop? Mm -hmm. The Z drop. Grenade. grenade, yeah. Like everything. But Kunai got a lot of good options right here. Yeah. Throwing a lot of card boxes around himself. Catching Draco off guard. Oh my god, everything is, is exploding. <laughs> Imagine seeing this in doubles. Like seeing two more snakes or something. I don't even want to know how this like everything stage would, be would look like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like super ridiculous. You can't see anything because everything yeah. is exploding. Just everything full of smoke. Draco oh. trying to look for that up tilt, I think. Draco not sure what he's supposed to do about that one. <laughs> Down here, gets grabbed. Nikita. Yeah, tries to get the Toon Link off of him. You know, just getting overran by Toon Link is. Kind of rough, kind of rough feeling. That's right. Eat one, go tit. Mm. Get rid of the stock. Oh, that's that's, that's a kill. Oh, I what? thought he would just down throw F till him right there. Maybe two links hitbox is too small. Maybe, but I'm not sure about that one. Yeah. Also, the nades. See if Draco can bring this back. Kunai really stock tanking this. Having a lot of rage. Oh my god, can he get this? Standing on this platform, it's very risky to stand on the platform. Once he gets a boomerang, he can like kill him for free with a side uh, for with what? a forward there. Yeah. Nice spot oh, dodge. Nice spot dodge there and reaction mm -hmm. from Kunai. And <laughs> just a Nikita flying around. Yeah, Draco kind of struggling to get in. He does not have too many options to kill. Nate's not killing at 200%. Platform kind of carrying him off. Makes it back to the ledge safely though. But and gets clipped by that F-tilt. Kunai at 200% on his first stock. And that's yeah. it. Gets a grab into up-tilt through combo. Yeah, but it's look he needs really, to really close bad. Out, yeah, he needs to close out those stocks a little bit earlier with those grabs yeah. or with those confirms. Maybe he's not too familiar with like Toon Link. Um, it looks like he doesn't really know a lot of answers to his tools. Up being to bomb, dealing so much damage. Using the C4 to place it on the ledge. Oh, oh. F smash! Wow! Back to even. Killing him. At around 50% with the F smash. Yeah, crazy. Pressured him into go going for a neutral get up with that C4 on the ledge. I really like that. The clutch Draco F smash. Let's see if he can get some momentum back from this. That from kind of helping him out. No, no, the sour spot. Yeah, getting hit by that sour spot up here. Oh, hurrying that Zare. Well, I'm kind of good at using that Zare. <laughs> Another one. Ducks Trying under the, yeah. the boomerang. 
trying to use that down tilt as a whiff punish. Down tilt from Snake, very good move. Not many Snake players use it, it's very good. It's like really good, really destroyed it as well. It deals a lot of damage at combos. Yeah, into I know. grenades and stuff. 180%. Gets a back throw, he's might go yeah, for the spike. He needed he to, needs go, for to go for it. Oh my god, he got nice read. Nice. Go for it. Nikita. Oh! The stage is transforming. He got some new platforms to mix up his landing right now. Going on to the top of the platform just as One up to it will take it. Yeah, one, one up to it. Oh, and, he and gets the up air will take up it. Air. Two. Really crazy comeback by Draco. Hitting him with the up air. Really clean comeback. Being down at once, like two stocks the whole game, then getting yes. a clutch F smash and then a clutch up air. Crazy comeback there. Very good gameplay by Draco. Yes. Not really caring about the lead that Kunai had at all, just going for the plays. And it worked out perfectly. And now we have an even score again. Yeah. I will see. I will say it's game five again too. Do you think so? <laughs> yes. <laughs> if this continues to go like this, we will sit here until midnight again. Like yeah. yesterday. <laughs> like super insane. I thought like we will be finished with the tournament at this time. Yeah, but then there happened like a lot of close sets. Yes. Close with all of those, yeah, all with all those game fives like and everything. Five to six minutes. Mm -hmm. Am I the only one that is annoyed by Morgana always me meowing when she comes through with the car? Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's quite annoying. <laughs> yeah, why is that a thing? I don't know. Does Sakurai like cats? <laughs> Probably. Draco setting up these traps. Not trying to be in disadvantage state for too long. Snake really gets... Really gets hit there the most. Can't really do much once he recovers with Cypher. Nice, gets the grab, back throw. That's the grenade toss. Throws a lot of grenades around. <laughs> Look at this, grenades. <laughs> just colliding. Yeah, grenades colliding with all these bombs, all those explosions all over the place. Just flying a few just circles. Just hovering with around the ledge. <laughs> Tries to read him, going low for the ledge. Doesn't quite get it. And nice that's it. F tilt. That's probably yeah. a kill. Nice. Draco going for those easy F tilts for those bread and butters. Getting those quick kills. Really consistent. C4 is, C4 is lying right there. Probably wants to detonate it. Yeah. Maybe it will be reverse here. Oh, never mind. Wow, that was a cool mix up. Going yes. with the Nikita, making it fall down so he could like break out of the grab. Very smart option. Never seen that. It like oh, be used either. like that. Some cool snake tech we can see here. Just chilling around the ledge. Wow, that still hit him even though he was behind him. Cool yeah. got some long arms in this game. Pulling a lot of nades, putting him down on the C4, hitting him with, with the F tilt, nice tech chase, hurrying him. Yeah, Draco looks like he's fitting, figuring out a lot of the tools Kuna is using. Yes. But right as I say that, he throws grenades and, uh, and bombs all over the place. All these percents are like so even all the time. It's actually insane. Yeah. 100% here. Oh, air dodges, but probably can recover, yeah. Easily. Doesn't even need to drop a C4 there. <laughs> Just keep, keep on hitting him with the Nikita. Oh, and nice. Nice wait there till the envy frames were over, yeah. Yeah. Really clean wait to get that hit off the, with, the C, with the C4. Did you see that Cypher clash with the bomb? Really, really smart stuff right there. Pulling lots of nades. Nice back air. Oh, and then up smash. Anti airing Draco. Yes. Only 26% is like nothing. Yeah, that's like one conversion of a bomb. 
Nice engage with that dash attack. Footstool to down air. Interesting choice to go for that. Nice parries. Hey, Draco's just taking his time pulling grenades. Just standing there. Mm. Probably grenade. Probably another one. I mean, he doesn't really need to engage, so. If you engage, you always get. You always like risk getting hit. So. Yes. He just tries to not get it. <laughs> nice grab. Oh, breaks out of the be breaks out of the jab and punishes him with an F tilt. Very even, 105 percent, almost at kill percent of that up tilt. Probably in kill percent, uh, to be honest. If you get the 100, oh, he wanted now that it's kill percent. Look at that boomerangs, like slowing him down again. Yes. Oh, but getting hit it. by that up air. That's unlucky. Draco getting hit by that up air, trying to land. That's unfortunate. But very well played by Kunai to just yes. go for it. You know, with that long-lasting hitbox to just, you know, throw it out. And if he air dodges, he would probably still hit him because the up air stays out for that long. And it's yeah. so strong. That's right. Going back to town and city, big stage. A lot of time to use all of your projectiles and grenades and all of that good stuff. All right, they both right. stick to the carry. Oh wait, no. never mind. Kuna going for Olimar? Even though he's up a game against Snake? This is like MVD against the boss Just, yeah. all over again. Maybe you want to try him out. Yeah, Olimar's just super strong, you know. Just getting those side Bs into the grab, grab, like the, those grab thrombos, combos into forward air just deals like 20% or even more like each time. Yes. He has a lot of like tools, you know, to, to really just deal a lot of damage, kill them, kill them early. Ahead. Really you mm. Oh throwing the purple Whoa. tries to dodge it but doesn't quite work out. Destroys the cipher with the Pikmin toss. Well he has the kill throw Pikmin right there, tries to go for it, but gets hard punished for it. Going really deep. I don't know if Draco has any like matchup experience against Olimar. I don't know either. Anti there are not so many Olimar players, yeah. Was oh wow that killed Whoa. him at 80% or something? <laughs> the dash dance. The dash dance actually looks funny as hell. Yes. He, do, he, he does it like that. Yeah, Draco just throwing out all these projectiles. Kunai can't really drift in be, uh, with this, like with Olimar, because he has such a slow, you know, air acceleration. Yes. Catching that, up smash, yeah, catching that down air with that up smash, parry up smash, really clean, a lot of damage. Getting that up air, up air, just throwing all, the, all of those up airs, you know, why not? Got so much damage on that character. Yeah. Probably looking for what a side B right here. How did you feel fell out of this? Oh, oh, we got two purples. Oh no, this is not gonna end well. Purple's dealing so much damage on aerials and up smashes and everything. Just giving you a lot of plus frames on block. Yes. Plus having a red one for better damage on F smash. Dealing a lot of damage. Up air not quite killing Snake a little bit too heavy. Nice F smash. We'll take it, yes. Narco getting hit by the F smash. Kind of wondering what he's supposed to do. Maybe he's a little bit confused about this character pick. Probably does not have too many uh, too many games against Olimar players. Maybe I don't know who play Olimar mm. at Germany. It was the weak up to up tilt, sadly not killing. And <laughs> look, those pigments die from a grenade bouncing off of them. <laughs> it's not even the explosion; it's just the grenade touching them. 
And, and the red one just ignores the explosion. Yeah, it's ridiculous, but it's his ability. Yeah, I, I like the fire. Just let me go through it. Nice down throw. F tilts him. 150% right now. Oh my god, I said everything. Like, one grab. Yeah, this is... This is not what? dead. What? Wow. Okay. What is this? It? I thought he was just about to go for the up tilt, but you know. Nice parry on that grenade. Draco trying to set up his traps again. Yeah. Trying to avoid all at all costs because the guy does just deals so much damage. Yeah, get that Pikmin off of you. Who are doing a very good job at managing his Pikmin? Yes! Oh, he has the kill throw. He has the blue one. The kill throw. With the up throw. Needs to be pay a lot of attention. Gets the white one right off of him. The white one dealing like 7% each hit. Or 5 or something like that. It deals a lot, of, a damage. lot of damage. A lot of damage. A Draco get rid of the blue Pikmin? No, it's. Oh, yeah, yeah. It died. The blue Pikmin is very scary once you're at like 100%. Nice, using that up smash to make that up tilt kind of safe. Baiting and engage. Trying to... Oh, oh, very clean read into that up tilt. Yeah, game five. <laughs> killing really <laughs> cleanly before. Like, <laughs> killing very, very early. Game five once again. These sets last forever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's not much to say about that, but these no. guys are like all on the same level. Yes, it's funny. Yeah, it's like everything game five. Mm -hmm. Why not? And now we got Zarko Kunai, Castle? Kunai versus Muzi, I guess. Oh, no, no, no it's, it's not. It's not over uh, yet. He's just stupid. probably goes um, just stupid. get something to drink or something, or maybe on the toilet. Who knows? Something like that. You know, gotta take your time if you're like this far in the bracket. I mean, this matchup's kinda very interesting. I don't know why he went for an Olimar pick. I mean, it worked out for him quite well, but it was like super random. I've never even... Oh, I was like, since when is Reko invisible? <laughs> Just picked Snake for him. What a nice guy. Going back to Toon Link. I didn't even know that Kunai had a Olimar, but it I worked quite either. well out for him, so I'm not judging him. Go! Alright, going back to Zaku Castle. Last game. With the Vega music, I like this. Yes, kind of reminds me of Kingdom Hearts, <laughs> to be fair. Yeah, the instruments yes. sound kind of like that in that game. Nice back air dealing 17%. That back air from Snake dealing so much damage. But Kunai being an, an advantage right now, just yes. throwing out all of these aerials and grenades and uh, bombs and boomerangs. Just c controlling the pace of the match, not landing Draco. Not letting Draco land at all. Nice down throw to grenade the there. Oh, deals so much damage. Yeah. Once you think Kunai got him, he just gets him with another... The boomerang almost saved him yeah. again. Yeah, the boomerang kind of being his homie this whole set. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Yeah, getting him with that up tilt. Hitting him with those grenades. Getting poked. Trying to set up something here, but gets sadly nothing out of it. Kunai is still sitting around at 118%. Nice bomb at Nair, into Nair. Both of them just trying to figure each other out. Yes. Oh, Draco with the big engage with that dash attack. You know, it's kind of like they're both like throwing projectiles, like yeah. 
all the time and then suddenly someone engages with some move. For example, the Renko yeah. always tends to go for a dash attack. Kunai tries to go in with a, with a neutral air forward air. Boomerang into aerial. Yes. Kunai just chilling and waiting. That's a yeah. hard punish on that yeah. down air. Still 81% to, to bring it back. That's a lot of advantage that Kunai has there. He can like kind of like chill back and not really approach at all. But yes. Draco has so much damage on, her, on her, all of his tools, you know. After dealing like 18% or something. Dash attack. It's almost back to even. Yeah, just by like three moves. It's crazy. I remember when the people started saying that Snake wasn't good in this game. Yeah. Everyone was like, ah, Snake is not good. But look at him now. He's like placing so well in every tournament and people are getting really good at his conversions of like grenades and yes. stuff. It's really cool to see. But Kunai... Not letting him have this at all. Oh, nice no grab. No punish there. Waiting for him to roll, then getting the grab. Down throw? No, nah, back throw. Going for the Nikita, but not hitting. It was a close one. Kunai just going for all these aerials, hitting him, poking him. Oh, air dodging through the Nikita, good choice. Oh, and that up smash still killed him. Draco being at a magic percent right now. Let's see if he can get something off of this. As you saw there, some, uh, sometimes if you get hit, you drop your item and it's yes. kind of random. So grenades can like make you drop items. Um, for example, it unequipped the gren uh, like the bomb from um, Kunai, which was really, wor really yeah. weird. But good to know. Mm. So if you, if you want Whoa. someone to lose his item he's holding all the time, you can just end up hitting them and they might lose it. Nice dash attack. Oh my god, he's going for those crazy reads again. Draco's about to spike him, I can smell it. He's just going about to jump down there with a the forward there. He's always about to do that when he's behind. Kunai playing very passively. Using the grenade, like using the bombs from Toon Link to create a smoke screen to throw more projectiles through it. Very, very, very smart idea to set up a lot of traps. There's Echo sitting oh. at 170%. Oh. That up smash, oh my Whoa. god. Kuna just running at him. Whoever loses this is out of the tournament. This is very, very close right now. Draco with so much rage on his, his up, -tilt is, up tilt is probably still like very unstable. He can like probably kill with one up tilt, but Kunai only needs one conversion of a boomerang into a forward air or a, or a bomb into anything basically. Or he can just keep on playing the timer. Look at the timer, it's 1.45 right now. He could just like camp this out until it's yes. over. Nice grenade there. Draco playing it super safe. Doesn't want to deal with anything. Oh my God, this is so scary. Oh, he got it. You're dodging right into that up till that is so unlucky. Kunai getting very nervous at the end, air dodging right into that sweet spot area of that up tilt, getting hit, dying to it, and suddenly losing the losing the set, even though he had a lot of percent lead. Yeah, that's right. It was super super safe from from mm -hmm. Draco there. He, yeah, he was. Even though he had like uh, yeah. such like high percentage, he kept his kept it cool, you know, tried to um, not do anything risky, throw grenades and wait for a mistake, and then he got the up tilt, got the, got the start, got the, got the set. Yeah. 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 Very impressive. Yeah. To stay that